uncontrolled fermentation. Is it culinary art or is it a critical risk in your kitchen? This is a quick bite training session from us at TSC Consulting. Let's get right into it. Your signature ferment, is it truly a masterpiece or could it actually be a menace? We see chefs pushing boundaries with koji, miso, kombucha. It's awesome, but let's be real. So what is fermentation? Well, it all comes down to one crucial word, control. That control is the line between amazing flavor and a food safety nightmare. It's that serious. But we hear this a lot in audits. I just let it go. I know when it's ready. And here's the problem. The most dangerous risks, you can't see them, smell them, or taste them. Sure, you can taste that complex flavor, but you absolutely cannot taste staph toxin. So let's meet some of these invisible enemies that might just be lurking in your kitchen. First up, Staph aureus. Its toxin is heat stable. If your pH doesn't drop fast enough, it's there to stay. Then there's Listeria. This one's tough. It loves the cold and can even grow in your fridge. And Clostridium botulinum. It grows without oxygen. Think garlic and oil. This is a big one. So how do you manage all these risks? The professional standard is a HACCP plan. And listen, HACCP isn't about killing your creativity. It's about enabling it safely. It's all about tracking key data points, things like time, temperature, and pH, not just feel. That pH number is absolutely critical. You have got to get it below 4.6 to stop pathogens. And you can't just guess, this needs a calibrated pH meter every single time. Look, the framework is pretty straightforward. Identify hazards, set your limits, monitor, and keep good records. Because great fermentation is controlled fermentation. That's how you protect your art and your guests. So you've got to ask, are your ferments scientifically validated? Can you prove they're safe? If you're ready to ferment safely, just contact us. We're here to help with HACCP.